Hi, this is Shane with The Rational Trader, and we're going to go over uh, the server configuration file and uh, any, any modifications you might need to make to it. So let's uh, jump right into that. Uh, here is the directory where you have installed everything. Uh, the file we're looking for is this one here called trtmlconfig.yaml. It's an odd, odd extension. You may not have seen it before. And because it's an odd extension, you may have trouble actually opening it up. It's just a text file. So right click and uh, open with. Um, you may not get this recommended programs. You may have to browse to it. Just find WordPad or TextPad and uh, open it up. And this is what the file looks like. Okay. It has uh, two sections. One is a general section, which you basically should never touch. Okay. And the other is the symbols section. Now, the reason that you would most likely come in here is because you only want to load models for the symbols you're trading. All right, so that's very simple to do. For, all right, for you to remove uh, the the file that you get every week will have all the all the models for all the symbols that I create models for. All right, but if you're only trading the NQ, well, then you just all you have to do is come in here and delete the other two symbols and then save it and you're done. Now, I, I, I did something that it was that's very, very bad that you may have noticed if you were astute. Let's uh, close this and don't save it because before you before you make a change to this file, you ought to copy it, all right? So let's do a copy and a paste. And now if I completely mess it up, I've got something to, to fall back on, all right? So let's open this up again and now again if i'm just trading the es i can just remove cl remove the nq and now save this file and now only the es um, models will load okay so this is the server will start up faster you you'll lose let you'll you you will use less memory etc cetera, etc cetera. it doesn't hurt to load models you're not using um, it just makes the server take longer to start up and it will use a little bit more memory uh, but it's not a big deal um, for those of you that are interested the other settings up here are this is the directory where the models are so if you dot slash means the current directory that the server is in it, you could point it elsewhere if you wanted to those of you that know how you can do it if you don't know how to do that then you shouldn't be doing it just put the models in where the, the executable is all right stack depth is um, related to the models themselves you should never change that um, it's there for me it's there to allow me to change it uh, as time goes on if I need to the port is the communications port that the server is communicating on with uh, the the custom study all right so uh, 8080 is a default and it's possible that someone who's more advanced may need to change that um, it's also if 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 you ended up running the server uh, running two servers for some reason we would you would have to modify this to, to change it to communicate on a different port for the most part, you're going to leave that alone. Again, uh, the vast majority of people are just going to be el eliminating loading of models that they are not using. All right, and when when you do that, you just save it and close it, and you're done. Now start now start up your uh, your server, and in this case, only the ES would load now because of the changes I just made. That's not what I want to happen, so I'm going to delete that and put back my copy all right which is what you would do if you made a change and then started up and discovered that it was completely broken you could uh, you can very restore very easily